All right, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Stacy Russell, and I will be doing my persuasion speech on seatbelt laws. My point is going to be to persuade you that all 50 states need to have a seatbelt law. There's actually only 32 that do have a primary seatbelt law, and that's only in the front seat. Imagine you're driving, it's a normal, ordinary day, you're going to work, you know, nothing is strange at all listening to your music and then all of a sudden everything seems to slow down as you realize that somebody has just hit the front of your car and all of a sudden it's not ordinary anymore. Um, now just imagine you didn't have your seatbelt on, no airbags deploy, uh, could be going through the window. There are, were in 2010 over 5 million auto collisions um, that equals to about 15,000 a day, uh, which is oh, a lot. Um, that's from the Governor's Highway Safety Association. Um, I believe that with more states having the law and by increasing the monetary value of the fines that we could prevent a lot of deaths that happen because of not wearing their seatbelt. Um, According to the US DOT, there are over 15,000 lives saved annually by just wearing your seatbelt. Another 6,000 could have been saved if they were wearing your seatbelt. About one in every seven people don't wear one, whether it's because they just don't want to, um, it might feel uncomfortable, uh, any of those reasons. One in seven is a pretty big number. Um, A lot of people also argue that if you weren't wearing your seatbelt, you could have been saved. Uh, my dad was the captain of the fire department, and I've seen him save countless lives um, out of auto collisions, and never once has there ever been anybody that he said or any of the police department has said that would have been saved had they not been wearing it. It's always the opposite. Uh, I tried finding anything that showed that people could have been saved if they weren't wearing it, and there's just no evidence supporting it at all. Um, the only rare occasions where people would have kind of a stand to say that is if your car were to catch on fire after the collision or if you were to be submerged into water. Um, the, that only happens in about one half of one percent of every car collision that is so minuscule, if your chances of that happening is so rare that why take the chance? Um, according to politifact.com, uh, in these cases, even though they did get submerged or their car did catch on fire, um, it still didn't say that seatbelts are what made them get stuck or anything. It was just, it could have been unconscious. There's still no facts helping that. Um, there are many states that support the click it or ticket campaign, including Iowa, as you guys have all seen as you're driving down, you see the, the signs and it says it's our law. Um, I think that if all 50 states were to just get on board with it um, and then do the higher monetary value of their fines, um, it could raise the percentage of people wearing their seatbelts by a lot. Um, according to the CDC, uh, with laws and educations ever in 2010 it increased from 11% to 85% of people wearing their seatbelts um, but as I said still now one out of every seven uh, don't wear them but there's also plenty of states who you, where you don't have to at all. Um, 50, all 50 states however require all children to be in some sort of restraint um, but they all differ in when they don't have to be in the restraint anymore. Um, also, according to the CDC, if we were to just take the fines from even just $5 to $100, it would increase the amount of people wearing their seatbelts by 10%, um, and that's just in the states that do already have the laws. Um, I've got a short video showing the difference between um, a car crash test with and without seatbelts. And of course, this is without. And 
And then with, of course, your airbag is going to t deploy. If you don't have your seatbelt on, there's really no point in your airbag deploying because it would be too late anyway, and by that time you're already going to be up over the steering wheel usually, and it would more than likely snap your neck. Um, so this just kind of shows how much more protected you are um, in more than one area. Guy on top doesn't look like he had too much fun. <laughs> um, in my opinion, it's just an easy solution. I understand that there's people who don't want to wear them and they want to be able to make the decisions for themselves, and I understand that. But for me, I'm a mother of two children and I'm about to have a third, and I I don't want my children ever thinking that it's okay for them to not wear a seatbelt because it's just so easy. <laughs> and there's so many people who uh, make decisions based on like their social environment and if they're seeing people who don't wear them, they could just not wear theirs just because of that. It seems silly to me, but I know that it happens and I don't want that happening with my children or any of my loved ones. So in conclusion, I think that every state should have the seatbelt law. I believe personally it should be in the front and the rear seat because you can get thrown from the rear seat through the windshield without a seatbelt as well. Um, but I would be happy with any sort of state, all statewide um, law. And just think about your family and your kids and your grandparents and you know something that is so simple that takes less than a second to do. I mean, it should just be automatic to just click it. Um, that could save your life. It just seems so simple. Um, so the next time in your car, just click it. Take the extra second. Um, just protect yourself that little bit more. And I think that if we could spread the word, that we could maybe get it going. <laughs> Thank you.